hey there beautiful people out there it's me again so in today's video we're going to talk about ways to prepare for birth I'm due next week so he's due to come whenever he might come on his due date he might come after but he's coming soon in the meantime I've been preparing for birth and everything so I'm so excited that it's like already here I've got a few requests from you all asking for ways to prepare for birth or whatnot so I'm here to do that for you I did a video about two years ago talking about how to have a safe and natural um, birth so if you're interested in that video I can link it here for you in case you are having a natural birth I do plan on having another natural birth I've been preparing mentally physically emotionally because it is no joke labor doesn't matter how the baby comes out whether you have a cesarean whether you have an epidural it's painful regardless all in how you prepare for your delivery so in this case I'm also going to talk about natural birth like how I'm preparing for my natural birth even if you're having a C section or epidural it's just good to still get your body prepared because that way you know be less painful let me stop lying it's gonna be painful regardless thank you eve but <laughs> so that way your body is already getting prepared your mind is like set like okay i'm about to do this let's get it and all that good stuff so without any further ado let's get it number one preparation you need to make sure that you do or you have done is pack your bags like if you have not packed your hospital bag at least by 37 38 weeks girl once you hit 37 weeks you know they can come whenever i mean they can come at any time whenever they're ready they're ready but at the same time that 37 week is very crucial so you just need to make sure that you're prepared so that way you're not like rushing and getting things together last minute when your water just broke and you're about to probably go into labor within the next 24 hours so go ahead and pack your bags get that set in stone get that ready and that way that is taken care of and out of the way we've had our bags packed since 35 weeks I have a video on that so I can link that here as well and everything's ready to go so we're already prepared on that part. Another way of preparing for birth is breathing exercises. From my birthing classes that I've taken in the past and recently they say that breathing exercises are like you have to do you have to at least know some type of breathing mechanism to help you through your birth it's gonna feel like you're losing your breath because you're like so you're concentrating on the contraction so if you practice breathing exercises that keep your mind off of the contractions then you should be good now I'm not saying that you won't feel the contractions but you won't focus solely on it because your mind and your breathing is on another level so it's easier like that the thing that I did with my daughter was I counted out loud so every time I felt the contraction I counted to 10 I said one two three four five six and so on and so forth because the counting helped me to focus on the numbers which is weird but it helped and that's all I did the whole that's pretty much what I did the whole night to keep my mind off of the contractions now not to say I didn't feel it I felt it but it kept me it kind of like had kind of made me sidetracked a little bit but while you're doing that you can sing your favorite song you know to keep your mind off of that say a scripture like I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me giving the strength Lord Lord I need your strength like just say scripture something to keep your mind off of what's going on because it kind of helps to like it just kind of helps you to you know get your mind off of the pain definitely practice a breathing exercise that will help you to get through if you don't have an exercise ball I recommend you get one but if you don't have one most hospitals will provide one for you so what you'll do is you'll sit on the ball actually you should be if you want to induce labor or you want the baby to drop quicker before you go into labor you need to be sitting on one at least every day it helps with bringing the baby down it helps with you know help your cervix thin out and all that if you don't know what Kegel exercises are look it up it's pretty much um, like you're tightening your your area down below is very beneficial for helping with labor and all that so while you're rolling on the ball you can be doing your kegel exercises and also it just helps to just get your body relaxed this helps to get things moving down below so if you don't have an exercise ball highly recommend it but like i said most birthing centers or hospitals will have that for you so definitely utilize that okay. you need to be hydrated like right now <laughs> while you're watching this video you need to be hydrated like you need to be drinking no less than 64 ounces 
a day of water because you will be dehydrated and dehydration is something you do not want to endure while you're pregnant like it is no fun it's no fun and it does not make you feel good okay you need to be striving to drink at least a hundred ounces of water now granted you're going to go to a bathroom a lot but you have to remember that you are you are taking care of two human beings yourself and your grown baby so if you're dehydrated your baby's gonna be dehydrated so you need to make sure that you are full of hydration whether you're drinking Gatorade whether you're drinking water you need to make sure when well, I don't drink a lot of Gatorade but you need to be drinking tons and tons and tons of water before I even got pregnant if I was dehydrated I would get headaches and headaches are a sign of dehydration so you just need to make sure that you're drinking enough water like me I have my big old gallon of water that I drink every day because I know if I drink at least a gallon of water a day then I know I'm going to be good and you know I try to drink some more beyond that you are taking care of two human beings so you need to make sure that you're not only focused on getting your nourishment but that the baby is getting his or hers nourishment as well so definitely if you got to get big gallons of water to hold yourself accountable if you got to get a gallon or you got to get a bottle that says 64 ounces I have a 64 ounce bottle or 32 making sure you're drinking that four times a day just make sure that you hold yourself accountable by the amount of water that you have if I have a 64 ounce bottle, I know, okay, if I drink one, I met my minimum 60, but if I drink two, that means I'm good, but I could go for another. So just make sure you just hold yourself accountable, get your big gallon of water or something and you should be good. I've heard that water is so relaxing when it comes to um, labor and delivery. Just watching different water births on YouTube and on Baby Center and stuff like that, it looks so relaxing y'all if you go with the natural route and you want like a relaxing atmosphere definitely look into doing water births or doing like a water labor so our hospital they have labor tubs but we can't deliver in the tub like i can't sit there and have my baby in the tub i can only labor in there and once i'm like fully dilated then they'll transfer me to the bed so it can shoot this baby out but i am going to take advantage of that so because i feel like it's just relaxing like anything to just keep me relaxed and just calm I am all for it so I'm so excited to do that but definitely do your research all hospitals don't have it some people don't offer it or you know you have to pay out of pocket for it my friend Emerald on here from the Rice Life she had an amazing amazing water birth it was just so peaceful and just so relaxed I also saw three other water births and it just looked so relaxing I was like oh I wish my house I wish we had room in our house to do that but unfortunately we don't so we gotta take it to the hospital but if you're interested I'll leave her link down below so you guys can check it out because it is very peaceful I don't know who said that you can't move or dance or exercise when you're at the last bit of your pregnancy like where they do that at? you need to be moving you need to keep yourself going you need to keep yourself your blood you need to keep your blood moving so if you gotta dance if you gotta do some exercises if you gotta um twerk something do it you just need to be moving because that will help your blood to circulate more and also it will help to you know induce your labor and push come to shove so definitely keep yourself moving keep yourself you know active i know all circumstances are different but just keep yourself moving keep yourself going because you just never know you know that could you know help to make your labor better that can help to calm the contractions from here to down here because it ain't getting down here <laughs> definitely look for ways that are safe you know safe ways of exercising safe ways of dancing and all that like i got my doctor she recommended me to be walking walking on a treadmill, walking every day. It's like that. So what I do, I got to do it. So know? if you would like to induce your own labor, which is possible, there are lots of remedies out here. I know a few like um, drinking castor oil, um, eating dates, um, what else? Drinking raspberry tea, the natural herbal raspberry tea. Having sex, make sure the shoulders are shooting up in there. Primrose oil and uh, what else? There are plenty of other ways of inducing your own labor. Me, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Whenever he's ready to come out, he will come out. But if you choose, if you so choose to induce your own labor or you want your labor to like get kick started quickly, those are some ways. 
but there are other ways there are other ways out there as well so google it and see for yourself those are some ways that I've used to prepare for birth so hopefully these were helpful or you so if you have any tips for me let me know down below so that way I can know and hopefully this will help you so congratulations on your baby I hope you have a safe and healthy delivery and that's about it so thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye